Hello everyone. Uh, this video I'm going to show you some helpful reminders uh, when making your own cutouts uh, on a bandsaw. Our little project is a snowy owl, uh, a project which I recently taught in a couple college summer arts programs. So this will be real beneficial to those that took those uh, courses and for those that are doing their own cutouts. Um, a few snags to avoid, okay? I'll first show you this little uh, miniature snowy owl that I did this year for the World uh, Championship Show. It's quite small. It's uh, about the size of my thumb, or a little bit, little bit less. It has a carved wagon wheel and a, a winter scene with the snow. Um, real neat little piece, very, very tiny. But we're going to enlarge that to a, show you this other owl, a quarter size uh, snowy owl. This one's all carved, detailed, and ready for the paint job. So this is one we'll be talking about. A little bigger, we'll be able to see it easier on the blocks of wood. So let me just uh, move this out of the way, and I'll get the blocks of wood in here. And of course the pattern. So what we have here in our snowy owl, uh, the head's turned 90 degrees, that's important. And the stump, or the post, or a rock, whatever habitat you want to carve in the bottom, we leave extra wood there uh, in the bottom of the bird's um, belly there, the same, the same piece of wood, the habitat and the bird, all one piece of wood, okay? So, let's put him back. And the block of wood we have here, nice clean piece of tuplo, grain running uh, head to tail, or tail to head, that direction. And I've drawn on for you the top view. I'll just put the pattern on here so you get an idea. The dark shaded areas are extra wood I'm going to talk about, which is going to be um, important here. So there's the top view of the bird, top view. And then the side view, we don't want to orient it like that or else the head and the tail won't match up, okay? Uh, we want them to be the same length, obviously. So we turn it. I'm just going to put my finger on here and hold it. So there's, that's how we orient the side view of the snowy owl, okay? Now, you can see the post or the habitat, the rock or the stump, whatever you want to carve in there, is also in the pattern. Alrighty. The, what's important here is this black shaded area. We want to keep the head square, square off the bandsaw cutout. And then we can draw on our top view or front view or side view as we go, the first initial steps. We want to keep it square. Because the head's turned 90 degrees, we want to carve in that 90 degree turn in the same block of wood. Um, this corner, this front corner that's shaded, if we uh, transpose that up to the top, you will see where the same shaded area up front looks like it's extra wood on the top view. Uh, it does, but we need that, otherwise if we take that off on the bandsaw, we're going to remove that corner, and we want to keep that corner to keep the head square, so that's important. You might think it's extra wood, but you have to leave it on there, okay? The next uh, area of extra wood is the width of the bird back here by the uh, rump area, the side pocket and rump. Those, that's the shaded area here. If we take, that's not for the bird, okay? That's actually for the habitat, or the post, stump, or rock, whatever we carve in. If you take, transpose that down to the side here, you can see where my finger comes down, it touches the, uh, the post area. So we want to leave extra wood down there for the post, not necessarily up here for the width of the bird. So those black areas uh, are important on the top view. You might think they're extra wood, but they do serve a purpose. And then this front corner, let me put that side view pattern back on there. The uh, front corner, um, very important as well to keep the head square, okay? What I'm going to do now is uh, just quickly, I'll remove that out of the way, just quickly um, pretend I'm the bandsaw. What I've done here, I have a block of wood, I've cut it all out and I've just quickly taped it back together again for you. So again, there's our, there's our side view, and if the pieces don't fall off here if I'm lucky, there's my top view. Okay, and just quickly I'm going to pretend I'm the bandsaw and cut all this out. So going around the bandsaw, these pieces are going to start to disappear as I'm cutting away with that big 18 inch bandsaw in my workshop. So all that's excess 
You see how that disappears on the side view, okay, as I cut it out. Then I turn it to the top view, and with a knife, because I've taped this, I'm going to break this away. Just as the bandsaw would naturally cut the wood. And then the side view pieces disappear there. And voila, I'm left with a square bird that is the same size and proportion as my final carved bird here. Only square, not rounded. Now, one thing uh, you'll need to do, you see the head square, that's very important. That extra shaded area over here. And for, for the extra width for the uh, stump down here at the post. Um, just one last little uh, helpful reminding tip here. Off the bandsaw, you will have these sort of funny little wedges here that I've put in black with an X on the front view and the back view. They're in the front of the face and they're also on the back of the head. You have to take those off with a, uh, a grinding tool or your knife and square up the back portion of the head here to get it perfectly square. Just like this next guy here. Done a little bit of carving on him as a demo, but the, the uh, front corner's gone, the back corner's gone. So it was square there at one time, and now I'm into putting my angles on the uh, top view, and I would round the back corner and this back corner. One side's done, one side is not done. And then you're on your way. You're on your way to doing the top view of the head, the front view, uh, curving that, and the side view is the head of the head as well. So hopefully there's a few little uh, reminding tips when you're making your own cutouts. Maybe another video, I will, uh, I'll do the basic how to do any bird uh, cutout on the bandsaw. But this particular one, um, those little tricks hopefully will help you along and get a good snowy owl project like that one on the go. Thank you.